Yep. All right. My talk is called Remembering the Past with Dementia. So how many of you hear a specific song and it brings emotion to you, like you feel happy, the song? Okay. So couples at their wedding, they have a first dance as a couple, and the song is forever marked in their brains as happy, joyful. But what happens when you can't remember these songs? Not because you want to, but because time and disease take over your mind and you are unable to retrieve the memories. Um, so I'm going to argue that when music is used properly, it can bring to life a patient suffering from dementia and can get them back into the world that they are so lost in. So some stati statistics from the Alzheimer's Association website. Um, Alzheimer's is the most common form of dementia. Over 5 million people suffer from it in the U.S., most over the age of 65. 500,000 people a year die from Alzheimer's. I know this is really sucking information, but... Um, Research are worried it's going to triple by 2050 because of the baby boom population. Um, it is the sixth leading cause of death in the United States. The only one in the top ten that can't be cured, stopped, or the progression even slowed down. But there's relief. Relief in the form of an iPod or personalized music to each patient that they can relate to. So when you hear music, the song is able to transport you to you and all of your senses to a place that you otherwise can't get to. I, like Katie, watched a documentary on Netflix called Alive Inside, and it features a social worker who is trying to implement a program in all the nursing homes across the United States to get iPods to every person that suffers from dementia. Music is the key to opening up their worlds. They have, they show a lady at the beginning, she's so cute, she's 92 years old, and there's this, they ask her, Tell us about an experience from your life, like a childhood memory, and she's, she can't. She said she simply just can't. She's too old. They hand her an iPod with some of the music from her childhood, and her face changes. It just lights up, and tears form in her eyes, and she's just getting all emotional, and she can't stop talking about her childhood. She has all these memories all of a sudden. She says she can't, she didn't know if she could talk this much. So, and this is just one of the many people uh, that are featured on this documentary where they're giving these people iPods and it's just, it just changes them. There's a doctor, Dr. Peter Davies, he's got 38 years in the field working with people with Alzheimer's, and uh, he says music therapy is more effective than any medication people can give them. And it's not only people with dementia that are in this documentary, there's schizophrenics, bipolar, MS patients. So why does music trigger all these emotions? It's actually kind of simple, because when you hear, hear a song, you relate it to, to emotions, and this is kept, these emotions and these feelings that are stored in your brain, that is one of the last parts of the brain affected by the Alzheimer's and dementia. So that's how they're able to relate. Um, it also takes little to no cognitive or mental processes to get these emotions. Um, yeah, so actually, I witnessed this firsthand because I volunteer at the healthcare center and I work specifically with people that have dementia. And there's this one lady there, she was just so sweet, and I usually sit around, see me sit around, she's sitting around in the hallways in her wheelchair, wiping imaginary dirt off her arms or watching the birds in the bird cage. And she, I love watching the birds with her. She just, she just, they thrill her. And she always talks about how her daughter's so lucky to have this bird cage in her house. Like she thinks she's at her daughter's house. And you try to, Tell her she's not, and she doesn't understand, and she just gets upset with you. So you just kind of play, play out the scenario with her. But when she hears a song that she knows, and she relates to, it's like she's there with you, and she's reachable, and she's this person that's in the world with you. Her eyes change. Even the looks, the look in her eyes change. Her arms start moving, and she's tapping. She just looks so happy. She, it's like she's just awakened. Something is awakened in her. Um, so, like Dr. Davy says, it is not really a cure, but music is most more effective than any medication. I know if it were me when I'm older, I would rather put on a pair of headphones and listen to some Whitney Houston, and that's going to brighten my world than take a pill that will just dim it.